speed. The old track 11, cameras A and B roll, Mark. I know your name, but can you tell me your name again so the camera knows your name? Um, Will Rantel. Tell me some of the things that you really like to do. Oh, I like to play Xbox and with my friends and stuff. You have a lot of friends? Yeah. You know we're making a video to help cure Duchenne, right? Yeah. Is there anything you want to tell people about Duchenne? I don't like having it. Like what's hard about it? Well, like all the things that it does to me and stuff. How do you feel about their being so close to a cure for Duchenne? Well, I feel happy that they're getting so close. So they can cure it for you, huh? Yeah. Well, and all the other people who have it too. They say there's not enough reason. They say the cure's too much. I had a wonderful pregnancy with both. Both of our kids, both Jake and Henry. The moment hits you, you, you fall in love instantly and with everything you have. And you have this moment that you just look at their eyes and, and you're hooked. They're you're yours and you have them forever. Both of our boys, when they were born, they were healthy, normal. And it took five years to be diagnosed with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. Duchenne is a progressive muscle disease. Primarily, it affects boys. Usually they're diagnosed between three and five years old when they can't keep up, they have trouble getting up off the ground. When we, when we first noticed symptoms, um, we didn't know they were symptoms at the time, but his calves were pretty big and, and we just thought that would, he was muscular, a, a thick child. And, um, but then he would fall a little bit and walk on his toes. So when he was four years old, we had him on a soccer team. He would run and, and try and keep up and he would just stop and start crying. The PE teacher at his school basically noticed that there was something going on. He just wrote up for a CK test and that's where it came out to be around 6,000. And we know, got to know that he was suffering from Duchenne's. Neurologist sat us down and basically said, this came back on the blood test. Your son has the worst form of muscular dystrophy there is. There's nothing you can do about it. There's no treatment. By age 10, he'll be in a wheelchair, and he probably won't live past 18. That was like being hit with a brick right between the eyes. There was nothing you could do. Well, you know, when you first get the diagnosis, it's scary. You don't know anything about it. You're young. You've got, you know, two kids, and you just kind of have, have to try to figure it out. Um, it's fear. One of my biggest fears is the first day he gets teased. It was awful. It was just the most horrific day, time frame of my life. Our lives just change forever. We don't know how long he'll walk. We don't know how long he'll live. We cherish every single moment we have with him because we don't know what the future brings. I don't know what destiny is there for him, for us, but I just hope the best for him, for his life. Keep seeing the smile on his face and makes my day go by. That's it. Addition is when your muscles get weak. I can't walk long distances. Addition is a, a neuro, neuromuscular disease that results in progressive muscle loss. I watch that every morning I get him up out of bed and it's a struggle and he needs to figure out how to get his body out of his bed. When Jeff had fallen so many times, got eight stitches in his head before he was eight years old, um, it was time for a wheelchair. He knew something was wrong about two years old and I don't think I was really aware that I had a disability, it was kind of like a, a gradual progression. And they're both on ventilators, 24 hours a day. I can't imagine when they are gone. And I know it's gonna be soon. In the chance for a lifetime. 
When Hawken was diagnosed, we were told to go home and love our child, that there was no hope for a cure. But there is hope for a cure. We can see it, and it will happen. We just need to make it happen now. I, I have Duchenne, so I don't think Duchenne has me. This has been the most incredible year in the history of Duchenne more research and trials being done than ever before. We have technology that allows us to develop a drug for Duchenne muscular dystrophy that repairs the genetic mutation that exists in Duchenne patients. And by repairing that with our technology, we're able to restore these patients' ability to produce the dystrophin protein. We were founded back in 2002 and Curishen was one of the very first organizations to help fund our research and development efforts. We know what to do. We can see the gene. We know what's wrong with the gene. We know how to fix it. We just need the money to take these programs forward so that we can get these treatments to as many boys as possible. I joined Curishen because I feel it can make a difference. Curishen has been involved in funding a significant number of clinical trials. I am Ryan. I am 10 years old. I'm in a child, so I have to go to Long Beach every week and get the medicine. He's been on the drug for now almost a year and about five, six months. We all noticed was that his energy level just shot up. Since I've been taking the medicine, I've been able to walk a little farther and like one little farther. Cure Duchenne, it's a wonderful organization that is actually funding research. We focus on high impact research projects and accelerate them through clinical trials. In fact, two of those projects are now the closest to actually being approved as drugs for Duchenne. Back in 2009, we partnered with GlaxoSmithKline, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. And currently, our most advanced lead compound is in advanced phase three clinical trials. And they are so close to finding a cure. They're in human trials. The studies are showing that they're, they're getting closer. There's a glimmer of hope that there wasn't before. We know the primary causes. We know the secondary mechanisms involved in the pathophysiology of this disorder. And the limiting factor in transforming that from a basic understanding of the science to mechanisms that are involved, it's essentially money. It's not the science. It's the funding. If the trials are able to go out to the public, you can cure this horrible, horrible disease. We believe this drug that Cure Duchenne helped support has the potential to really transform the lives of Duchenne patients and potentially alter the course of the disease. We have come this far and we've come so close that this is the time when we need the help the most. It's urgent that people help now to save this generation of boys. Investments in this disease really will make a difference. To get the dollars to the right research programs to save our son and all the other boys with Duchenne. We didn't have any rules. We just wanted to find a cure for this disease. I wanted to fix it. Yeah. All of our boys deserve a chance to ride a bike. To fall in love. To have a child of their own. Playing with my friends. To experience life. To live. To live. To live a healthy, normal life. We are so close to finding a cure. We are so close to finding a cure. We are so close to finding a cure. Will you help? Will you help cure Duchenne? Will you help cure Duchenne now? Together, we can cure Duchenne.